on. All right, we're gonna do a quick little unboxing video. Um, so, just got into airbrushing recently. Been enjoying it. You can see <laughs> Kenny Boucher. Shout out to Kenny Boucher here. Next level painting on the screen. Anyways, um, this Chris coming at you with uh, a little unboxing video here. I haven't even broken the seal yet. Um, so, <clears throat> what I've been using since I'm a beginner is this cheap Neo for Iwata. Okay, Neo for Iwata. So it's not made actually by Iwata. It's made for Iwata. Okay, it's the Neo CM. Um, pretty cheap airbrush. Um, you can get them for 50, 60 bucks. Um, comes with another smaller cup. The cup is removable. Um, and it's a 0 0.35 needle, which is actually smaller than the new one that I got. But we'll talk about that. So, I just have a quick release chuck on there, but it's the Neo for Iwata, okay? Cheap. Um, the compressor I run it with is uh, AS186. It's actually, um, I found it through a video by Squidmar. Um, it was, it's the one that he uses. Um, I've seen it's one that uh, Scott from Miniac uses, um, as well as a couple other people, and it's a good uh, sub $100 compressor. Um, so I got that. Um, but with this guy, it's designed to run at really low PSI, anywhere as low as 8 PSI, usually averaging around 15 to 25 PSI. And it's 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 basically the same quality as one of those cheap um, one of those cheap Chinese airbrushes that you get with a airbrush kit on, say, like Amazon or something, where you get the compressor. Sometimes you get the paints, you get the hose, you get everything, and uh, you get a pretty cheap brush. This is maybe one small step above that. Maybe the seals are better, maybe the finish is better. The control isn't that great, but definitely will continue to use this for priming, base coating, maybe a little zenithal highlighting, um, and maybe even some varnish, you know, running some, uh, some Vallejo varnish or something like that through there. Um, obviously, you gotta clean immediately after using varnish through your airbrush. But anyways, comes with two cups, comes with a cap. Simple construction, easy to take apart, but this is what I was using. Um, I wanted something a little better, but nothing too crazy at all. With, I'm not doing super fine detail, I'm doing a little armor on my Space Wolves, you know, wanna get those nice popping highlights on the shoulder pads and from the Xenophal uh, angles. And I want it to look nice, but I want something that's a workhorse. So this is, the ubiquitous, infamous Badger Patriot 105, okay? Um, super common. What I like is it came in this case. When I see it at the store, it comes in like a cardboard packaging with the clear and um, no case. This is awesome that there's a case. I really like that. So as you can see, made in the USA. So for you folks over the pond, um, you probably hear a lot about badgers for miniature painting, whether it be entry level or their higher end stuff. And, um, you know, uh, they're popular. In the U.S., this is super easy to come by, really good price, made in the country that I live in, um, and um, easy to get a hold of customer service. In fact, I'm located in Wisconsin. Um, I believe they're located in Franklin Park. Yep, Franklin Park, Illinois. That's... <laughs> It's not that far of a drive, you know? And um, so anyways, you know, I can go in, I can literally go to the place and talk to the people and if I have an issue, so that's great. In the UK, you're probably gonna wanna go with more of like a H&S, Harder Steinbeck, whatever it's called. Although they're still kind of at a premium, um, you'll probably be better off going with that or of course an Iwata, um, like the Iwata Eclipse, which is basically the equivalent level of something like this, only I like the design of this more. I like the build quality of this more from what I've seen so far, and I like the <clears throat> fact that it's locally made. Um, the other great thing before I open this is that I also ordered the super fine detail kit. So it's like a $12 kit, something like that. What you can do is take this exact same airbrush that usually comes with a point five or a 0.76 depending so a bigger more heavy duty needle uh, and i ordered the super fine detail kit which comes with a couple parts mainly the needle swap them out 
now I've got much finer detail coming out of my same Badger Patriot 105. So let's uh, let's open her up, all right? And shout out to the spider goes. It's a beater knife. So let's open her up. I'm not going to cut this sticker. I'm going to save it so I can stick it on stuff. Stick it right back on the freaking box. Anyways, let's open her up. Let's take a look see. Wow. Okay, I'm already like very impressed. This is way better than the packaging that I saw in my local game store. At my local game store, this airbrush was $135.99 or $139.99. I ordered this last night, last night, like evening, like 10 p.m. on Amazon Prime for 80 bucks. And it's here. Like it just, the Amazon Prime lady just pulled up in her car. Like I got it, I ordered it last night and now it's 7 p.m. here. And here it is. It's kind of crazy, but at the same time, they're made in Illinois, not that far. So that's a really good benefit for me and other people in the Midwest. You'll get it fast. All right. So, little assistance card, how to get a hold of them. Oof. We got... Oh, we got another card. We got the manufacturer's note, whatever that is. I'll have to take a look at that. Uh, newly designed field chamber adjustable inner seal screw assembly the part the part number of this inner seal screw assembly which is the inner seal screw and the seal the seal is available separately so it tells you how to get the replacement part so I believe this is the newest packaging for them and the one I saw at the store was actually a uh, slightly older packaging and they re repackaged redistributed updated so this comes with a fixed cup by the way um, but I'm getting ahead of myself here. Here's our okay breakdown there, where it tells you to see that manufacturer's note, which is this. Okay, and we've got all that shit. I'll put that to the side. Let's take a look. Once again, I cannot stress enough how happy I am that this came in a freaking case. This is really, really for me. That's a big, big plus. So here she is. The Iwata. Or excuse me. The Iwata. <laughs> the Badger. Okay. So it's the Patriot 105. Okay. So immediately you can see here the needle design is much different. Very, very cool. The packaging is really nice here. I can see we got a nozzle here. I don't know if that's an extra nozzle or the nozzle. I will note that the nozzles on... The Badger Patriots and many of the Badger models are proprietary and they don't thread on like the Iwata, which is great. Uh, less stuff to break, uh, less likelihood of stripping threads, cross-threading, all that stuff. So, let's take a look. Here's the nozzle. There's a nice little container here. Okay, looks good. And of course, um, as you'll see with videos of mine. Um, I am not a video guy. I'm a, I work with my hands, but I don't work with digital stuff too much. So my video quality is absolutely terrible. Um, all right, let's take a look. I'm going to set it out. I'm going to take a look at the package and see if there's anything underneath. Nope. Great little box. Pre-cut specific foam for it. The extra nozzle storage there. I'm pretty stoked. All right. So already I'm seeing a lot of design differences and here we have the Badger Patriot 105 okay now the needle on these from my understanding do poke out of the shroud of the collar on the front on the protector on the front so it's not really a protector meaning it's more susceptible to breaking the needle therefore they give you this Okay. Whereas on this, the needle is not exposed. It's in there. Okay. And it moves back and forth, but it is not exposed. I can put my finger over that. Okay. So let's take a look under the uh, needle cover. There we have it. So as you can see on this model, the needle does protrude. So you just got to use some care with that. Um, I can tell these are threaded tighter than I usually would like. 
Uh, those are pretty darn tight, but that's okay. Needle looks nice. Needle is not bent. Needle is not nicked. Here's our cover. I like this cover. It's got a vent hole in it so that you don't get any back pressure. And it prevents spill and it fits on real nice. It actually fits on tighter than the metal cover that comes with the Iwata. So, Iwata, removable cup, different sizes of cups. Badger, fixed cup. Now, these are a solid, stable. That's what you'll hear from a lot of people. They feel really well balanced. They feel really good. So, take a look here. You've got the blue ball on the back of the needle, which I believe denotates the size, if I'm correct. You've got a nice, nice feeling trigger, so you've got your, I'm probably going to add a little more lubricant to that. Um, so you've got a great feeling trigger, and just while I'm at it, let's excuse me, I'm going by my gun safe for one second to grab some oil. Uh, I'm going to straight up, usually what I do with something like this is the same thing I would do when purchasing a new firearm, believe it or not. I'll disassemble it completely before ever shooting it, in this case, before ever spraying with it. Um, I'll get any factory debris, factory oils, factory grease out of the machine, and then I will you know, clean it well, and then I will oil it myself with any number of oils. Um, in this case, I'm just going to put some oil on here really quick. I feel this could just be because I'm used to the trigger on my Iwata I feel like it's just, I don't know, I feel like it's a little sticky, but then again, that's me as a gunsmith and someone that works with friction and metal a lot and tolerances. So literally, I'm just taking REM oil. This is easily found in the United States. This is a firearm uh, clean and lube. Okay. And I am going to just gently drop a little bit on there. So what I will do, believe it or not, is... I want a little bit more precision drop here. So what I will do, you'll have to excuse me again. What I will do is because this one, I don't want to dig in my gun safe and get out the other oils that have a needle precision tip. I'm actually going to drip a little bit of the oil onto a metal pick and then distribute the oil with the pick. Uh, it sounds weird, but it just allows me to be more precise so I can drip a little oil down here on the my cutting mat slash palette slash everything else and I can now gotta be careful with that needle I can let a little bit of a ball build up on there and now I can deliver it where I want it and distribute it how I want it and I'm literally just putting it between the contact points here just such a minuscule amount, pulling back, putting some on the needle here. I'm just preemptively doing this because I'm, I'm about to chuck this thing up and uh, start spraying with it. So I'm just preemptively greasing threads. Um, I even put REM oil on the nozzle needle assembly. And I do that for a reason that prevents paint from drying up as easily on it. And I will remove the excess with the q-tip so um, before I start spraying just so it has no effect in my paint this is a an oil that is designed for firearms okay <clears throat> now unfortunately because I don't have a lot of time on video I'm gonna have to cut this and create a different video for disassembly cleaning and reassembly which I will do after I've actually used it, because I'm not going to show you how to clean an airbrush when it's already clean. So I will be back soon with a real quick video on, well, the way I talk probably won't be quick, but a quick video on disassembly, cleaning, lubrication, reassembly. Okay. Uh, really happy with the new packaging. Extremely happy with the next day delivery and with all the customer service information provided and all the good things I hear. Um, reviews of Badger are astonishingly good. And the only bad review I ever read was from someone over the pond in uh, somewhere in the UK, I think Dorset or some someplace in the UK. And they, um, you know, they said they had trouble getting it shipped to them in a timely manner. And um, 
customer service wasn't good for them because they're overseas and it was hard to get a hold of them, but it sounded like they only called them once. Um, so disregard that review because um, that person should have just buy, been buying a, an Iwata or a, a harder and steam back anyways where they're located in England. Um, this is American manufactured, um, which is always quality. I don't care what anyone says, it's always going to be extremely high quality. Customer service is always really great with local or um, places within the states that I deal with. Um, so I always try and support local and this is pretty close to local, um, you know. So I'm pretty excited about this. I will come back once I've put it through its paces. Um, I also am waiting on the super fine detail conversion kit that I mentioned earlier. Um, which will be arriving in the next two or three days. I got that, of course, on Spray Gunner. Um, if you're not familiar with Spray Gunner, check them out. Uh, I also got conversion uh, couplers for the hose because Badger are proprietary. They don't fit the Iwata stuff. The one thing I will say is I believe the one I saw at the store that was 140 rather than 80 it came with a hose, and that's why the packaging was bigger. I believe that's the case, but don't quote me on that. But I just want to be fair in that aspect. So, anyways, um, cheers to all the mini painters out there. I don't want to talk about minis that much, but, uh, but you know, just wanted to talk about the airbrush. I'll just throw a quick... you got to guess which mini that was. No pausing the video. No cheating. All right. Cheers. It's Chris. Lupus Insidious. Space Wolves. Badger. Terrible video, but I'm out.